Hey guys, welcome. Today I will share with you a very crucial overview of what I call the three day process. The three day process is kind of crucial to have as part of your understanding of how manifestation works, how the process of creation works. Because if you don't have this knowledge, if you don't have this understanding, then you will mistake your own self challenges, which is the day two challenge, which I'll talk about in a little bit. You will mistake this for failure. And this is what everyone does. Generally speaking, this is why not many people actually feel excited about life. Not many people feel like they can be their dream like kid like self anymore because they feel they've been betrayed by the universe. They've been betrayed by life. Life just works in a certain way. So we've all become negative realists and feeling betrayed. In order to avoid that, in order to change and transform that, it's very important that you have an understanding, at least a basic understanding of this three day process. So what is the three day process? The three day process is a symbol. So these three days can be weeks, they can be hours, they can be minutes, they can be seconds, they can be years in some cases for some ideas or projects or changes. It involves the process of change. So day number one, you have a new vision for yourself. You've known this many times in your life. Every day this occurs in some form. You have a new idea about who you are, a new realization as to what is true for you, what you prefer, who you really are, a new vision for yourself. That's day one. Day one is the day of realization of vision of, um, of intention, the new intention. So you're all excited, right? In day one, you usually are excited. There's like this new change. There's this new vision for yourself. Yes, I'm going to do this diet or this is who I really am, or I'm going to leave my job because it doesn't resonate anymore. It doesn't excite me. So you have this new vision for yourself. And then day two comes around the corner. And day two, for most people, it gets interpreted as failure, as impossibility, as this big brick wall in front of their face that they run into with their day one enthusiasm. So day two, what day two really is, it's the day of challenge. It's the day two challenge, as I call it. So what happens is that the day two experiences, which tends to generally follow very quickly after the day one experience, of having the new vibratory state of being in mind, of having the new vibrational intention in mind, of having the new vision for yourself, of being really excited about who you now know yourself to actually be and what you're going to do with that, how you're going to bring that into this world, into your creation. You're all excited. And then you run into this seeming wall, which is not a wall. It's a challenge. It's a test. It's not a test in a negative sense, like, oh, let me test you. It's a test in a very beneficial sense. It basically is a question from your higher self to you. The question is, are you sure you wish to execute the change that you've realized in your day one new vibrational state of understanding yourself? Are you absolutely sure? Are you absolutely confident that this is who you now want to become? Because if your answer to this day two challenge is yes, I'm convinced of my new self, then I will allow those changes to be made manifest. So in a sense, it's a safety, um, it's a safety pin or a safety switch, like on a gun before you pull the trigger on something, it asks you, ooh, ooh, you can't really immediately pull the trigger. It asks you, are you sure? Think about it one more time. Are you sure you wish to pull the trigger on this new change in your life? That's the day two challenge. Usually this comes in the form of doubt, both, inwardly as well as reflected outwardly. For example, let's say that you do wish to quit your job and it's so clear on this day one experience, it's so clear that you wish to quit your job, that there's nothing about it that's exciting to you anymore. You feel like it's holding you back and you are absolutely certain that who you are is to um, go adventure for a year, go travel for a year. That's you're absolutely certain in day one that this is who you are. You're so excited about the fact that you know you're going to make that change. And then the next day you wake up and perhaps your partner, your outside circumstances, in other words, your partner starts reflecting her doubts and her hesitancy about you quitting your job. She or he might say, well, but what about, you know, what about our debt? What about our kids? Or what about our uh, mortgage? Or what about our finances in general? 
this is just one simple example, but this happens in many, many different ways every single day in sort of many day three experiences, um, three day process experiences. But so your partner is, is basically bugging you about um, bringing up your doubts, bringing up your innate or inherently held doubt beliefs about your true passion. And so you will be challenged, you will be tested. Someone else in the outside world, which in your mind may carry some kind of authority, will ask you if you are sure. And this can come in a very unfriendly way too. They can simply say, no, I don't want you to do this. If you do this, I'm going to divorce you. Uh, you know, you're a selfish bastard. You don't, you know, you didn't only think about yourself. That's a more harsh or extreme version, but it doesn't always come in the form of, hey, honey, let's talk about this. I have my doubts, but it can come in that way too. Either way, start recognizing this day two challenge. When your circumstances start to challenge you, start to ask you, they start to turn around at you and ask you, are you sure you wanna make this change? And they will bring up every doubt belief that you have. Basically, the day two challenge is all about revealing your doubts about your new self to yourself so that you can clear out those doubts before it becomes manifest. It's a gift, it's not a test in a negative sense. It's not like you're being tickled to death. It's not like, the universe is out to get you and test you and challenge you in a very heavy or dense way. It's simply a safety mechanism asking you, okay, you've made this vibrational shift yesterday. Now today, is this still who you desire to be? Now that you've had some time to familiarize yourself with the new state, are you sure you wish for this vibrational state to be made manifest, to be executed into physical reality? Are you sure? Now, most people say no. Most people are not sure. Their doubts just come up and they don't see that this is part of the game. And so they interpret it as failure. They interpret it as, oh, what was I thinking? I was overly enthusiastic. I was just being like a kid. I was just being weird. I was just dreaming too much. I was just in my imagination. And so we start to feel more and more betrayed, more and more like we're realists. We kill the kid inside of us, or rather we suppress the kid inside of us because we can't really ever kill it, hard as we may try that joyful imagine, imagineer inside of ourselves, we suppress it even further because outside circumstances tell us that we can't do what we really are. We can't be who we really are and we can't make manifest what is true for us. It's not possible. There's a real physical Newtonian reality. There's only so much money. There's only so much of this. And if you are to embark upon your true passion, you're going to be selfish. You're not gonna be loved. You're not gonna be accepted. You're not gonna be seen as a good guy or a good girl, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All these doubts from emotional to financial to circumstantial to relational, they will all be made obvious to you. Why? Because these are the types of vibrations that simply don't have a place. They don't fit into the field that you will truly have to embody in order to be in that changed new reality. So these vibrations, these distorted mixed frequencies, as I call them, these mixed frequencies, these sloppy thoughts will not serve you in that new reality. In fact, they cannot really coexist in that new reality. So you have to face them first. You have to bring them up first. And this is what your circumstances, your higher self, which creates your circumstances, helps you reflect to yourself so that you have a real conscious chance to look at them and to say either, yes, I still believe in this doubt and I'm going for that, or, I see that this doubt has been part of my belief system, but now I see it no longer serves me. It's no longer what I desire. And so I simply prefer to no longer believe in that thought. It doesn't make sense to me anymore. And when it doesn't make sense to you anymore, and the thought has been made conscious, it disappears and merges back into the entirety of your sun-like self, of your radiant self. And then it's really integrated your shadow side in that sense, or your negative beliefs regarding your new positive state have been integrated and have been absorbed and have been mastered and have been conquered and have been loved to death. And so now you are a true congruent vibrational being that will effortlessly see made manifest in their reflection, which is circumstance, which is creation, the change they made on a vibrational level during day one. So if you say yes to your true frequency throughout your day two challenges, if you remain true to that, 
if you live without expectation but with total confidence in your new frequency, no matter what appears on the outside, no matter how much you're challenged and tested, if you truly believe that this is who you are and you stay true to that vibration, then day three will come very swiftly. Day three is the day of transformation, confirmation and celebration. So day one is the day of the new vision, the new intention, the new realization. This is who I truly am. Day two is the challenge. The old circumstances come up full force, all at the same time, not giving you a single break, all to reveal to you the doubts that you may still have about what is possible for you, what you are worthy of, how aligned you truly are, etc. Then if you make it to, through that day to challenge, how? By simply staying really, really true to your core, newly discovered frequency, and you believe that that is possible, and you simply lovingly gaze upon your old thoughts coming up, your doubts coming up, and you recognize that they no longer make sense to you, that you're worthy of so much more, and then you've integrated that vibration, and you've let go of the old vibration, and then day three will effortlessly flow, which is the manifestation of your dreams, which is the manifestation, the reflection of your true heart's preference, of your true heart's desire, of your true heart's vibration. So this is why most people are realists and feel betrayed. It's because they've never learned to see the day two challenge as a challenge. They've seen it as, they've interpreted it as a brick wall, as this is reality telling me what I should be doing. This is actual physical dense reality telling me how things work. And so we've used the reflection that is our circumstances as a way to take our cue from it and say, well, okay, well, let's at least play it safe Play it by the rules that are laid out for us in physical reality. And if something doesn't work, well, it doesn't work. But here's the secret. The secret is that physical reality is but a reflection of our decisions, of our choices, of our vibration. And so when we change our vibration and we believe in that and we stay true to that, it will have to be made manifest. It will have to change the rules of your seeming circumstances. Many people don't realize this. This is why they hover between before day one and day one. So they get this fun realization, but then very quickly when they reach day two, they go like, oh, never mind. Their frequency goes up, they get excited, and then day two challenge is interpreted as failure, as impossibility, as unworthiness. And they go, oh yeah, what was I thinking? So don't do this, okay? Don't ever freaking do this again. Now that you know that this is the three day challenge, this is how physical life manifestation creation process works. It always takes you through these three days, which are symbols. Symbols, they can be minutes, again, they can be hours, they can be seconds, they can be weeks. But this is the challenge. And so you are here to challenge yourself and to free yourself up and to let go of your negative beliefs so that you can truly integrate the vibration of your true being and know that you're worthy of it and see it be made manifest and celebrate and confirm to yourself that magic actually works, that this is actually like a fairy tale, that this life actually does operate like a fairy tale does operate. You will be transformed. You will transform yourself over and over again once you understand that this is a simple process that is a natural effect of you being a portion of physical reality emanating a new frequency, then getting back the old reflection as a question to whether or not you wish to see it through with your new frequency. If you say full heartedly yes to your new frequency and a loving no thank you to your old frequencies arising, then you've cleared out your field, you've cleared out your energetic vibratory pattern, and then this new aligned congruent energy will effortlessly manifest your circumstances in a new way, transform your life, and the things you actually desire will start to appear to you effortlessly. So, your homework for this lesson is to notice right now for yourself what is a new desire that you have for your life? What is a new understanding of yourself that you have? What is a new vibrational way of seeing yourself? And what do you wish to carry out into physical reality? What kind of change? What kind of transformation? Write this down as a simple intention, as a simple goal, as a simple realization of this is who I am now. And let it be newer than what you previously were. Let it be something slightly new, at least. At the very least, let it be slightly new, if not radically new. But this new realization of, I want to quit my job, or I'm worthy of more than just my job, or I'm capable of more than just my job. I'm using the job as an example, but this can be anything. I want to change in a relationship. I want to be a better communicator. I want to speak up more. I want to speak my mind more. I want to feel freer in everyday life. I want to feel freer around other people. I am amazing. 
these kind of things. Whatever the realization is for you, write it down. And then take this with you, take this new vibration with you into everyday life. And start noticing how initially there's just excitement, there's just flow. And then at some point, things start creeping in. You enter a little valley experience, apparently. And now you start recognizing that there is this challenge being offered to you. Then notice this challenge, and when you come back to your piece of paper, you write down what that challenge was like, all the doubts that came up for you. And then you face those doubts, and you see that they no longer make sense to you. They no longer work for you. They're no longer true for you. When you do this, you will naturally enter your day three celebration, confirmation, transformation. Have fun with this process and observe it.